In this training session, we're still busy with debt as maintenance, and now we're going to look at group accounts. Group accounts will allow you to give individual invoices to every debtor, but at the end of the month, you'll have one statement that will, for instance, go to the head office. Now, I've set up a head office and two branches over here. If I open my first branch, you'll see what I've done is, under group account, I've selected the head office. Now, I'm doing that with both my branches, having the head office as the group account. If you're now going to invoice either one of these branches, you'll see you can select the, the data, but the detail of that invoice will not be stored with these branches. The detail will actually be stored with the group account, in other words, with the head office. I'll show you, I've created two invoices. Okay, so the, just to show you, the group account does not have anything here. The main account, in other words. If I go to debtors inquiries, now I've created an invoice each for Durban and for Johannesburg. There's no detail here. It shows us, or it shows a little comment in red, this is for information only. In other words, we can select the account, but the data will be stored on the main account. And our main account is our head office. Okay, this is our main account. And you can see my order number that I've used, I specified that it was Joburg or Durban. So here's my two transactions. If I show you the document, you'll clearly see that this was done for Durban. And there's the invoice. So at the end of the month, if we look at our statements, you'll see that there's those two transactions. If we look at a statement of a branch, there's nothing. No transactions is stored with the two branches. All the transactions will be stored at the head office. And that concludes group accounts.